First of all, symptoms of COVID-19 in children are very clear. You want to have, you talk about fever, most of the times it could be low-grade fever, oftentimes continuous high-grade fever that is not relapsing with your regular paracetamols and um, your tepid sponging. One of the other symptoms, aside the respiratory symptoms that you have to look out for is the stooling and vomiting. It's been seen to have very strong effect on stooling and vomiting in recent times among children. And when you do a culture for, for that, you don't see anything. There are no bacterial um, infections associated with it. So then, of course, the baseline is your respiratory findings, which you can have the regular cough, nasal discharge a few times, um, but dry cough more often in children. To watch out for temperature changes you want to watch out for you know loss of appetite and some kata for a long time what you call nasal what we know as nasal discharge then you have to teach and model hygiene all right a good hygiene practice you know using the high hand sanitizer washing your hand regularly in fact should be the stated one and in cases of no water you can teach them for Hand, um, hand sanitizers, especially those less, more than 60% alcohol. And then um, they don't necessarily have to use the face mask often, but you must teach the intake of good clean water. And then more importantly is diet. You know, you cannot just give any child any food now. You have to pay attention to vegetables, greens, especially. Um, you have to have high protein calorie, a high protein diet and high um, calorie diet, for example, fat and oil, is important for a child to improve their metabolic state, for protein to improve their re growth rate, and more importantly, fruits to improve minerals and vitamins. And so you're not doing substitute of fruits, you're doing the real fruits, the vegetables, and um, things like pear, cashew nut, watermelon, cucumber, very important for them right now. Popo has been seen to be very effective, especially for um, vitamin E and you know it contains the um, the the tocopherols yeah vitamin E and co which is very important for their immunity so you're focusing on building their immunity and you're focusing on them having a good diet so a summary of what parents should do in um, preventing COVID-19 amongst your children is one teaching and modeling good health or hygiene practices. You don't just teach it, let them watch you and let them be conversant with it. Secondly, you must monitor their health. Don't take anything for granted. Once you notice fever for more than 24 hours, you want to report to the hospital and be sure that that fever is not stepping it bound. The third and very important thing, you want to see that um, this child is eating appropriately and appropriately not giving junks. You won't see that they're eating the right um, protein, high protein diet, a good calorie, which is fat and oil. And lastly, vegetables, of course, fruits and vegetables so that they can build their immunity. Don't, don't necessarily do um, fruit sub substitutes. Some people want to do multivitamin. Those are placebos. They, well, they're good, but um, it cannot take the place of the right diet per time, greens and vegetables.